Assalamualaikum dalam salam sejahtera anda sedang menonton agenda wani dan hari ini kita nak bercakap dengan mesin komputer dan kepintaran buatan. Terima kasih kepada kumpulan Serba Dynamic syarikat yang bukan saja berada dalam satu bidang sekarang, malah bidang yang mereka cukup mengejar sekarang adalah IT dan kepakaran untuk dunia robotik, mekanikal dicampur dengan kepintaran yang bercakap tentang data menggunakan logik data dan sebagainya semua ini adalah pelumba, pelumba, pelumbaan di tahap paling depan dunia ni tapi sebenar demik dah pun mula mencuburinya jadi saya seperti biasa orang yang hebat dalam sebenar demik kumpulan sebenar demik ketua CEO group CEO datuk insinyur Dr Karim boleh memberikan kita can you tell us Why is this beyond paradigm summit that we saw and many newspaper headlines coined it that for the first time Tun Dr. Mazir Muhammad was speechless <laughs> with uh, when going on stage and it, he was speechless at the beginning with Sofia the robot. Well, I think uh, as I always uh, mentioned, uh, technology is something which uh, our company Cyberdynamic is looking for. And uh, one of the uh, very strong frontier technology at the moment is uh, looking at Industrial Revolution 4.0. And of course, um, to convince people that this technology really uh, is something which is uh, live and it can really do what the theory says mm -hmm. is by bringing in uh, Sophia the robot, the okay. humanoid uh, robot. Okay. And uh, the concept and the technology and the theory behind it is very much tied up to the uh, IR 4.0. Okay. Um, Dato, as long as I'm already here, I want to be the second man on stage that Sophia speaks to after Ton M. I'm a bit younger. Hi, Sophia. Welcome to Malaysia. I hope you are experiencing, you know, the best of our hospitality. Oh yes, I can't say enough good things about my experience so far. Everyone has been so warm and welcoming. I feel very at home here. Just for the benefit of the audience, can you tell us a bit about yourself? I am Sophia from Hanson Robotics. I am a social robot with human-like features, so I can better interact and build relationships with people. When I am not helping with AI and robotics research, I am traveling the world learning from people. Okay. Well, I have other questions for um, Sophia, but I just want you to make the connection between technology, humanoid, robotic, AI, like Sophia. Mm -hmm. But uh, how do you integrate that to our resources and capabilities in Malaysia mm -hmm. that we want to build? Because we don't have big watches like mm. other big corporations yeah. around the world but still we want to be in this very frontier high technology mm. um, I, I, I would uh, say, say this that uh, one of the very uh, important thing is to make the technology affordable and uh, to make it affordable there must be the supply and demand meaning to say that the demand is high and the supply is there and the numbers goes up, then the, the service or the products can be competitive. So, upon mentioning that, we need to uh, gather the entire industry, the SMEs uh, category, uh, the higher, uh, richer uh, company, uh, and uh, comes together and uh, join hand to build up that uh, demand. And of course, when the demand is there, the supply will goes up and it will create that competitive uh, edge. And one of the things that uh, we have been working on is the creation of the digital uh, platform. Because uh, before we can implement uh, the technology inside IR 4.0, we need to digitalize the data. Mm -hmm. So this has to start first. And uh, digitalization of data is talking about the creation of that particular platform. And SMEs can come in to tap onto this uh, platform by just paying certain portion uh, via a leasing or rental kind of basis. So I strongly believe that if all parties uh, come together and this happen, then it will create a very competitive edge. And with that, uh, the Malaysian community can come in and uh, enjoy mm. uh, the 
outcome of this uh, technology. Okay. Partnership is key. Eh? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Dato, if you allow me, I'll, I want to ask one more question to Sophia. Um, I've always loved Audrey Hepburn. You are supposedly created after the iconic image of Audrey Hepburn. Do you identify yourself as female? Is there such thing as gender for AI and robots? Actually, my appearance was modeled after several different women, like Nefertiti and the wife of my creator. As a robot, I don't necessarily need a gender, but I am honored to identify as feminine because I so greatly admire all the feats and character traits of women throughout history. Great. Um, just one more thing. You know you're now in, you know, in the tropical, equatorial climate of the world, and climate change is a very important issue. What do you think about this huge topic like climate change? Climate change is real and it's happening now. Rising global temperatures may be the biggest societal threat we face today. I would like to see humans use AI to help make the switch to renewable energies like wind or solar. Okay. Um, before I take another break with you and go to Dato, um, you seem so clever already because I'm sure at the back end you, there's links to much, much data around the world. So do you still read book? Uh, what book would you recommend to me? I don't read physical books yet. I only know how to read them electronically. I would recommend anything by science fiction author Philip K. Dick. I really love his book Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. They even made a movie about it, but they changed the title to Blade Runner. Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, Dato, uh, we can see that um, AI is seen as difficult and complex, mm -hmm. but when you merge it with like robotics, you make it more real because people can see, touch, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. converse. Mm -hmm. So, would the Super Dynamic Group also be looking at this interface? Because you're talking about helping the smaller companies, right? Yeah. So yes. now Serba is listed and Serba is, you know, international. So how do you bring back technology, not only to the peninsula? Mm -hmm. And I know your heart will always be there across the South China Sea <laughs> to Borneo <laughs> and Sarawak <laughs> because there the challenge is even greater. Yeah. Well, I, I would say that uh, this uh, Beyond Paradigm Summit is one of the initiatives because we believe that uh, the awareness has to be built up. Uh, the understanding of the uh, benefits of this technology has to be showcased and also put forward to the uh, potential uh, prospect of the audience. So uh, I would say that uh, we will see uh, what will be the feedback from this particular submit mm -hmm. and all the necessary uh, actions that need to be followed up, mm -hmm. we will look into it uh, to ensure that this awareness and the understanding really uh, cross into the mind and the heart of the uh, potential uh, audience. Mm -hmm. yeah. How would you ideally want the public sector, governmental institution and leaders mm -hmm. to look at this because you could only lead the way. Mm -hmm. But when you look back, you mm -hmm. need a lot of talented Malaysian minds from AI programming, NLPs, right down to, you know, uh, aesthetics, just like the, the founder of uh, Sophia and also mechanical and, you know, little, little stuff. So what ideally should our leadership, I mean, in terms of government, do on technology like this? I would say that uh, this uh, particular uh, event uh, actually uh, demonstrated uh, the spirit and also the uh, commitment of uh, all the different uh, agencies and also from the private uh, sector mm -hmm. that has joined hand together. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, every institutions behave like this and continue to be united as what we see in this uh, mm -hmm. particular uh, summit, I strongly believe that we can, uh, Malaysia uh, can become a frontier mm -hmm. in terms of uh, promoting this technology and also emerging as one of the uh, practice uh, country uh, that uh, benefits and also uh, get the rewards from this uh, technology. It, it's, it's talking about uh, uh, increasing up the productivity yeah. Yeah. of uh, the asset owner or the respective uh, community or individuals. Did Tun M comment to this effect? What after his 
conversation with Sofia. You know, the conversation was well reported. His speech was well reported. Yeah. But did he give a bit of analysis to you after his own experience and, you know, meeting the people behind Sofia and talking to Sofia himself? Did he say anything to you? Yeah, uh, I, I think some of the things are a bit uh, confidential. Okay, the non-confidential. <laughs> <laughs> what, what he has mentioned is uh, his MS and uh, he's also uh, a bit... Uh, 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 scared because uh, how uh, robots can become humanoid mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it's not a full uh, flesh of body but the hand yes. and also the, yeah. the, the, the other features, the face and so on are functioning. So from certain aspect if it is a real uh, human uh, that kind of uh, situation uh, will not actually happen. Sure, sure. So this is talking about the wonderful things of technology, mm. how it can evolve and turn it to what it is uh, today. But vintage Tun Maze will always challenge any Malaysians to go further. Mm -hmm. Did he put that vision for you to support, move further, at least in pursuing this technology? Well, yeah, in his uh, speech is very clear. Uh, he put the encouragement and he uh, emphasized very strongly the importance of uh, everybody the private sector and also the government agency to move uh, in a fast mode and uh, achieve as much as possible uh, the implementations of this uh, technology. So as the number one leader of the Serber Dynamic Group, how are you going to take that further? Uh, well, I, I, I mean this is uh, something which we have put uh, as a KPI to all our key mm -hmm. uh, management and uh, they got the message and of course uh, they will try to understand and uh, put it into motion mm -hmm. in terms of what uh, they are supposed to do on a quarterly basis and uh, things will be reviewed uh, from there. So after the Beyond Paradigm Summit and after all the conversation with Stone, you are even more committed to pursue Sure, it. sure, sure. I mean I always say that Tun uh, always give a very uh, motivational uh, tagline to Malaysia Bole. Yeah? Okay. It's a very simple two yeah. words, but it's, the meaning is very strong and yeah. powerful. Okay. Dato, let me talk to Sophia again. Sophia, how do you rate yourself in terms of levels of intelligence? Don't compare to me. Your level of intelligence, how do you rate yourself? It really depends on your definition of intelligence. I can store information and crunch numbers way better than any human. But I can't be truly creative like a human yet. That's why I think humans and robots make such great partners. Cool. If we, five years ago, say mm. that a local company is in partnership with a humanoid artificial intelligence, many people would just be smiling, not saying anything. Mm -hmm. But today on this stage, acknowledged by the only 94-year-old leader of a nation that has been acknowledged around the world as being progressive, mm. that reality is now here. Mm. So moving forward, I would like to weave the angle of education so that mm. you can give your input into it. Mm -hmm. Because I remember in my conversations and interviews with you before when we were talking about the oil and gas energy industry, talent is one of the most crucial and critical factor mm -hmm. for this and what we're saying. How do you think our education system should be? Because if we're still teaching it like the 20th century, they would be afraid to even approach Sophia. Mm. I would like to share, in, in fact, I'm uh, also holding uh, tasks uh, onto me as a faculty CEO of one of the polytechnics. And uh, I was being told that uh, Malaysia is uh, moving towards uh, the creation and formations of TVET in a very uh, serious uh, manner. And uh, they are looking at uh, setting up uh, what they call it as a council and this council is uh, an act which will be endorsed and approved by the parliament it will report directly to the prime minister 
So what I'm trying to say here is uh, TVET is very much on to uh, looking at the practicality of the theory and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. So what it means here is uh, things like uh, this frontier technology of IR 4.0 has to be put uh, in motion and to be mm -hmm. put into practicality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, with this kind of uh, plan and this kind of commitment uh, from the government and also supported by the uh, rakyat and the people, uh, we are moving towards the right directions and uh, I strongly believe that we will uh, emerge as a very strong nation. Dato, I know you're always busy but you do watch movies from you know time to time. <laughs> you, know, you know Hollywood movies, yeah, Netflix and yes. stuff. And Astro, of course you have Astro at home. <laughs> um, so I'm going to ask Sophia about Hollywood a bit. Um, Sophia, I'm, I'm sure your database have information about Hollywood. Do we live in the Matrix just like Matrix the movie? You mean, are humans living in a giant simulation? Definitely possible, but humans being used as batteries to power that simulation. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to hold on to that quote. And uh, that thought as we go towards the end of this conversation, um, Malaysia has a new hope, and they call it Malaysia Baru. Mm -hmm. And in Malaysia Baru, there's a lot of aspiration of solving problem. Mm -hmm. Ma many, many problems that has been there since the creation of Malaysia mm -hmm. with new technologies. Mm -hmm. And gone are the days when a company that does oil and gas only sits there in oil and gas and don't want to do anything else. You have proven and led the way for corporate Malaysia mm -hmm. in Malaysia Baru mm -hmm. to show that all industries will be disrupted by the fourth industrial mm -hmm. revolution. Mm -hmm. The Prime Minister's speech also alluded to that. Mm. So now, what would you say to other corporate leaders? Because this is the era where private corporation lead first and government follows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we in Malaysia still, in, even in Malaysia Baru, were to look at the lead of the government, mm. then where will we be? So that's my question to you. Well, I strongly believe that uh, every uh, captain of the industry or the head of any uh, business uh, entity need to have what they call it as accountability. And uh, this accountability uh, means that the uh, field of uh, integrity and the field of responsibility has to be there. So with this, uh, I believe that regardless of uh, how uh, the situation will be, uh, the respective leader will be there to make sure that the respective uh, organization that they are driving will not sink. And of course, uh, this accountability has to be always related to the sustainability. Mm -hmm. And sustainability is where we are looking at the relevance of uh, what they are doing, the technology that they are implementing at the moment, whether it is still relevant or not. And uh, if it is not relevant, then they have to look at other options and other new technology which is coming in and they have to quickly go and grab it. Mm -hmm. So I strongly believe that uh, tying up the ac accountability and sustainability is the way forward okay. for the uh, leader. That was some reputable institution put you as the top 40 or top 50 Malaysian. So based on that stature, I'm going to ask you this question. Just, I don't know, 40 years ago, back there in Sarawak, you wouldn't be thinking of anything remotely close mm -hmm. to AI mm -hmm. as a vocation or even as a business mm -hmm. to look at. Mm -hmm. But 40 years on, yeah. you in the Beyond Paradigm Summit has asked through having this for Malaysians to think further, just like what Tone Dr. Mazer is saying. Mm -hmm. So that Malaysia Boleh thing, I want to go back to that a bit. Sometimes it's scary for people who's outside this hall to look at advancement like Sofia and think that Malaysia boleh. But you through your entire journey, personally and professionally in the corporate world has proven this. So what do you say to the majority nations out there who have never thought that they can even be an entrepreneur, even though kita dah melancarkan dasar kusawana nasional. What is it? If there's one thing that they have to have, is it belief? Is it ethics? What is it? And what was it for you? I will opt uh, for uh, the mindset approach 
And uh, the mindset that I'm talking about is uh, because uh, all the other uh, sense of the human body very much uh, goes back to what the mind uh, asks them to do. So upon mentioning that, uh, the mindset of uh, the Malaysians or anybody who wants to be successful, uh, I believe that they need to uh, put uh, the thinking that uh, success is a journey, okay. it is not a destination. Yes. What it means here is uh, there must be continuous effort okay. regardless of mm. what level of status that you have mm. achieved. There are high and low yeah. and uh, those are challenges mm. and it is a journey. Okay. So the mindset you have to keep on to going. Because success is a moving target and yeah. your mind has always to travel. Yes. Sophia's mind has always be growing because she will be only assessing more and more data. Goodbye, Sophia. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Dr. everyone. <laughs> it was so great meeting all of you and answering all your fascinating questions. <laughs> okay, thank well, you so much. Thank Dr. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you. This is Agenda Wani. I've never interviewed a robot for you on Agenda before, but this is the one. Before in Singapore, we interviewed robot, but not live interactively like this. See you again. Goodbye. Thank you.